Responsible for more high-speed rail tracks than the rest of the world put together, China's high-speed rail system, known as Gaotie, is the object of envy for many countries. As the wheel trains dominate China's 35,000 kilometers high-speed rail network, a magnetic levitation train prototype is pushing ground speeds to new levels. 那现在的世界纪录就是日本创造了六百零三公里每小时。Could this be China's next super train? When you see a machine with curves like this, you know it is born for speed. A full carbon fiber body weighs under 13 tons can completely float above the tracks. So light, even a little girl can push it forward without much effort. All of this work for one collective purpose: to get rid of any resistance that slows the train down. Because in our this train, when it goes through the train wheel, it will automatically move forward. The wheel on which it will be moving will be mainly the power of the air pressure. An aerodynamic shape, or the bullet head, is the widely popular design among high-speed trains, but not as aggressive as this one. As this very train was designed to hit the speed of 620 kilometers per hour, maglev trains aren't a novelty. Six commercial lines are in operation around the world; three of them are in China. But this prototype is using a new method to levitate: superconductors, unique materials that can completely repel magnetic fields. And therefore, float above the magnetic tracks. To create such a material, scientists need to cool it down to a temperature near absolute zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. So, using this kind of design, we thought that we should be able to do it in a safe way. In Japan, in 1962, they started this research called the high-speed rail model. First, the car used the high-speed rail body. It needs to use this high-speed rail body. 更低的温度要冷却，具体就是指这个液氦这个温度，就是零下两百六十九度。Till this day, liquid helium is still very expensive to acquire, but when China kicked off its research on superconductive maglev in the 1980s, there was a giant leap in the industry. A class of materials was discovered to achieve superconductivity at negative 196 degrees Celsius. That's warmer than absolute zero, so it is known as high-temperature superconductor. It and our earlier discovery of the high-temperature material are different. The rail can be connected to our rail material. When you turn around and turn around, you will clearly feel that there is a rising wind pulling you back. It gives you a recovery and pulls you back again. This special property, known as flux pinning, allows the superconductor to float in a steadier way. But what's more important, they can work in a warmer environment, a tenable. By liquid nitrogen, which is cheap and plentiful. Then we built the whole train from the top down. We put all the parts of the train in the top down. So its weight is slightly more balanced. It lowers the pressure for the rail and all these requirements. So from a certain point of view, it can also reduce the cost of the train. This train, because it uses a high-speed rail body, its power is all on the ground. The train had a motor and the engine was operating properly. 那么它就不用它了。这样的话，车就很简单，跑起来更安全了。Outside China, maglev technology is showing sign of taking off in Japan. It set a record of 603 kilometers per hour back in 2015. A maglev line between Tokyo and Nagoya is scheduled to open commercially in 2027. But for China's maglev prototype, the real challenge is not from Japan, but from within. Since 2008. China has already paved over 35,000 kilometers of its ambitious HSR network, attaining 70% of its 2025 goal to complete its 8 plus 8 HSR grid. Those tracks are not compatible with megaliths. It needs to survive in this high-speed real world still dominated by wheels. It is a necessary addition. For example, this high-speed rail system is suitable for passenger trains to point to point. 呃，旅客，呃，旅游线路，联网要求不高的，但在点对点，旅客量比较大的点上，或者在山区，尤其西部这个地地广人稀、拆迁工程量小的情况下，我们这个就更合适。
What's next for this super train? Well, Deng and Jin's team are working to extend its task to track to 40 kilometers outside of Chengdu, so its 620 kilometers per hour top speed can be put to the test. I want very, very long before this train will be able to travel. But this is a long journey.